All right, guys, I decided to come back out after lunch because I, I did so good uh, during my lunch break with catching some and I was actually also missing some on those videos. Some of the videos, uh, some of the misses uh, attempts I didn't put on there. So I'm gonna come back out. But I'm gonna get up under this bridge and I'm gonna see if I can show you guys that a fish will bite in the dead heat of the day. Okay, all right. No snake laying up under here, cooling off. That's why I like. All right, so sometimes be watching right here on that concrete. That's where they'll be laying at if they were up under here. Thank God they're not. All right, guys. So we better get started. So that that uh i'm gonna start i'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with the ugly stick fish in the drain hole this is 10 pound test line so it's stronger if i get a bite and it rub against that concrete in that drain hole concrete right here it won't break as easy but if i start casting out there then i go to that six pound test line and uh and then it drops a little bit slower Give me a better chance of getting a bite. I bet you can catch crappies here at night. All right, when it get dark, a lot of them too. Here we go. Good one. Well, them bass be up in that drain hole, you guys. This is a good bass. Oh, God, I'm surprised that didn't, break, that didn't break the line. Ooh, that's a good bass. That's a good bass. Wow, three and a half. Big mouth. Look at that hook set, it's in there. That bass bigger than the one this morning. Uh, for lunch, you too. I ain't been out here long. There you go. There you go. What do y'all think? That's a pretty, pretty bass, there. Okay, you go on back in there. They shooting out of that drain hole right there. When when that lure go past that drain hole, and when they feel like they want it, eventually they shoot out and grab, it and they trying to go back in there. But I'm pulling them out right there on the edge. And like I said, I got that 10 pound test line because it's gonna rub that concrete and um, it'll snap that little thin line. Let's put them back. He's gone. Just walk down, you two. Just walk down. For today, you guys. We fishing with the ugly stick. This is a uh, six footer, medium action. Combo, Shakespeare real. All right, it's kind of windy up under here. I don't want nothing to fall in the water. And uh, 10 pound test line. That's what we're fishing with right now. Let's get back. All right, I don't want my net. I'm gonna put my net, see this thing right here? I'm gonna put my net, my net on that. There we go. And then I'm gonna put this on my net. And I'll put my pole right here. All right, now I feel comfortable. Now I can fish. Right there. There we go. I'm just letting it fall down. I didn't, I, I didn't pop it then, he just grabbed it. He just grabbed it right in front of that drain hole, you guys. Just letting it fall down, just letting it coast. They shoot out and grab it and try to shoot back in there. And you just keep repeating. Just keep repeating. Until the fish hit. That's all you gotta do. It's like no magic technique or nothing like that. You just keep repeating. Keep tossing out there and dropping. Until that line tighten up. Thank you. 
Mm. Missed that joke. Ooh, I missed him. That was a crappie. Right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring that hook out a little bit. I'm missing too many fish. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring that hook out just a little bit. There you go. And uh, we're gonna see if we can stop missing those fish. I just missed a real good bite, honestly. I mean, a real good one. Right on the edge right there. Right where they're supposed to be at. See what I'm saying? It's a bass. That is for sure a bass, or it's a, or it's a two pound crappie. Bass, it still came out of his mouth. Jeez, cry, I'm getting pissed. And I can't set it too hard, you guys, because I'm gonna hit this concrete that's above me. That might be another reason why I'm missing them. That's my excuse. Mm, got that joke. It's a bass. It's a good one too. What's some big old bass in this pond you got? It is some bigger. Who he acting a fool? Huh, where my net at? Where my net at? Oh, there's some big bass in this little spot. I bet it's some big croppers in here too. I got, I got something for him though. I got something for him. If I can reach down there and get him without him getting off. Oh yeah, most definitely. Oh yeah, most definitely. There we go. Oh, I got you, buddy. Your other one, your oh, that's a nice one, you guy. It's a four pounder. This is a four pounder. Big old bass. Ooh, this joke is big and long. Man, it's a big old fish. There you go, guys. There you go, YouTube. Nice fish. There you go. Nice bass. You got something going on down here. One of my buddies, one of the followers from California told me what that is when that water get hot or something. But overall, very healthy. Very, very healthy fish. Very heavy too. He's gone. Two bass and I missed one. We're gonna keep it going, but I am gonna switch over to, some, to a bottle. This is if I can get some crappies. But we'll play with these bass for a little bit. I just dropped straight down and he, he, he hammered it. Let me go about right there, yeah. Just let it fall. You can pop it, whatever you want to do. Or you ain't got to pop it, just let it fall. It'll do the rest. They'll let you know when they hit it. Sometimes the tip of that rod when a bass hits, you just, oof, you just feel the power. And you know it's a bass. That's why you hear me saying it's a bass before I even come up out the water. Or it's gonna be the biggest crop I ever caught. Feeling like that. Now let me go and get a bobber. Let me run and get a bobber. I'll be right back. All right, you two, I'm gonna, uh, 
I'm gonna run and get a bobber, a couple bobbers, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can catch some crappies in that drain hole and up under that bridge, cause they started to jump up on that bridge. So I can fish about a foot deep with that bobber and give me some crappie nibbles, crappie bites, and we'll see what happens. So you guys back up under the bridge. I'm gonna switch over to this pole. Thin line. There you go. The reason why I get these bobbers, you guys, I know everybody has that specific bobber they like to use. I get these because of, because of that slit, you guys. How easy it is to put on and take off. You want a vertical jig, you can take it off. You want to use a bobber, pop these off. Pop the line in there. Pop it on. And there you go, fixed bobber set up, just like that. You wanna go back to vertical jigging, you just take them, take it out, take it off. So I'm gonna go a little smaller. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna go with a very, very, very one 32 ounce and a crappie magnet, black and chartreuse. So I'm taking that off. There you go, 132 ounce jig. And let's see if I can get a crappie or maybe a gill or something to bite it. Big old bass. Bring them on down. Bring them on down, you guys. See if I can get them up. Uh oh, he's trying to break my line. That's a decent bass. Not a big bass, but it's a decent one. But I don't call, I don't miss like three bass off camera, you guys. Which kind of sucks because it'd have been good content. <sighs> yep, I missed three off camera. Man, these bass are a good size down up under here. Calm down. These bass are a good size up under here. He spit the hook, but I got him. There go another one, you two. There go another one, guys. I missed about Three bass on camera that was decent. But here you go. I'm never having a good time. I'm having a good time. I only got one crappie though. YouTube, as soon as I took that bobber to three feet, bam, game time. Didn't dunk it, didn't move it. I just seen a subtle, I'm talking about a subtle movement and I knew that fish moved, moved that bobber. So, don't wait till it go under. You see any movement, a lot of you fishermen already know this. Vibration, move this way, move that way. Even if it do this, be on them, set that hook. Make them go cross eye. I'm gonna take the bobber off. I'm gonna throw, uh, throw it without the bobber, see what happens. Mm. A little bitty, uh, probably look blue gear. There we go. Oh boy, it's gonna be a bass, you guys. And you know, I got thin line, guys. So, I ain't gonna horse it. Yep. They just dig and dig and dig. 
is a good bass too. That is a good bass, you guys. Okay, we're gonna pop. Oh, good bass. Oh, boy, I'm catching some nice bass. Nice, fat, healthy footballs. There you go. So, guys, I caught this bass on this little bitty, little bitty lure. So I caught this huge bass, you guys. Um, 132 ounce jig head and a little old bitty it's just like a stick crop your magnet there you go fat little joker there we go youtube still at it still at it don't get to go right back in the water All right, guys, I just missed a, I just caught one, but I don't think I got it on camera. But uh, Donna, one of my followers, asked me do I eat the fish out of here. Um, no, nah, I never ate any fish out of here. I just started fishing this spot, uh, maybe what, a month ago. So um, when I came, the water was chocolate color, but that was because we were getting all those storms in April and May, uh, or May. And if you can look now, the water just green. Um, does it look bad or does it look like something could be wrong with the fish? Not to me. I fish many canals and pond and things that look like this. The fish look healthy that I'm coming out with. Should, would I eat some one day? Yeah, you never know. I catch a lot of croppers, I probably would, but I haven't ate anything out of here. Um, slow down big time, so let me put the bobber back on and just see if anything can hit with the bobber on it. Yes, I'm missing fish. I just caught another one. I don't think I got it on camera. I missed two bass and then get on camera. Boy, and just something. Um... There we go, got another one. I got this on camera though. God, dog it. Whoo, these little jokes getting off. Probably they ain't biting yet. They're not out yet. But they, they'll be out in a minute though. Just take a little time. Got one. Crappie. Big one too. Oh, both flip them, E. Ain't that what uh, TV saying? Ooh, that's a nice one. God, this is a monster. This is for here. For a canal. And pretty, you guys. So y'all see why I got them on? That little bitty mag. Let me go out here in the sunlight, see if you guys can see better over here. But I got them on. I got them on. Here you go, you guys. A 1.5 little black and short truths crappie magnet that little old bitty lure caught that crappie that little old bitty lure and that's a pretty 
healthy crappie. No sores, no nothing. First crappie, first crappie of the day, you guys. First crappie of the day. I don't keep fish every time I go fishing, so I'm gonna let him go back. He's gone. Got one. Ooh, he spit it. He spit it. Now that will happen with these little bitty jigs. Both flip them. All right, there we go, you two. We got us another one. You two, there we go. Bass fishing in urban Texas. Bass fishing in urban Texas with Mr. Slab Hunter. Man, we killing it. All right, YouTube, I'm gonna see if I can give me one more that I'm gonna call it a day, you guys. I had a great day. I don't call, so I probably caught 10 bass. Three, three or four I didn't get on camera, you guys. I'm sorry about that. Thought the camera was going, but it wasn't. And it was some good bass. But we're gonna see if we can get one more and I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go home and eat. Got that joke. That's a crappie. Crappie. Oh, he's kind of heavy too. Oh, nearly. That's a big one. That's a big crappie. Well, they got some slabs in here. They got some slabs in here. You guys, they got some slabs. So I came closer to the edge where I was at. And I felt that I felt that joker hidden. Look at that big old crappie, you too. Big old pound in that crappie. One, three, a pound and a half, probably. There you go. 12 inches right there. Bam. Get right back in there. I was about to go home, but I don't know. All right, YouTube. I'm about to call it a day. I had a great day. So I caught quite a few at lunch. You guys saw that video. And this is after work. And like I said, I missed three or four nice bass that i didn't get on here i thought the gopro was going but end up catching a couple of crappies and a lot of bass but i'm gonna show you guys the lures i was fishing with and i'm gonna call it a day so of course the underspin right here with the uh mayflower lure that i bought right and then here i'll just show you from here so basically these little bitty chartreuse and black, they're like uh, 1.5, they're very, very small, 1.5 inch. And just a little bitty 132 ounce jig head, you guys. That's what I was using, tip with a crappie bite. And I was catching bass and crappies on both lures. But that crappie magnet produced big time for me. So y'all have a great night. Enjoy yourself, stay hydrated, stay blessed. And we'll see you next time. Peace.